Hello, everyone, and welcome to Storytime with Miss Abby. Today we will be reading Norman Didn't Do It. Yes, he did. Written and illustrated by Ryan T. Higgins. So let's go grab your favorite stuffy and get settled in for another reading adventure. Norman was a porcupine. Norman's best friend was Mildred. Mildred was a tree. Norman and Mildred did everything together. Strike one, bounce, chip, chip. You're right, Mildred. It is a little yellow-bellied sapsucker. I love playing tree together. Yay! You win. Norman was happy with the way things were. Okay, one more chapter, then it's lights out, Mildred. Norman and Mildred, Mildred and Norman, just the two of them. Until one day, pop, there was someone else. And who is that? It was another tree. Suddenly, it was no longer just Norman and Mildred. Now it was Norman and Mildred and the other tree. This did not sit well with Norman. Norman began to worry. What if the other tree wanted to be friends with Mildred? What if Mildred liked the other tree? What if Mildred liked the other tree more than she liked Norman? Norman kept a careful eye on the other tree. Whoosh. He watched as Mildred and the other tree grew closer. Bounce, bounce. And closer. Chip, chip. Sigh. And closer. You're playing tree without me. Life wasn't the same. Fine, you win. Then it happened. The worst thing possible. Touch. Mildred and the other tree grew too close together. It was the last straw. This is the last straw. Even though in this case there were no straws, just branches. Norman could not lose his best friend, not to the other tree. Something had to be done. Norman planned and he planned until his plan was just right. Then, under the cover of night, Norman dug up the other tree and took it far away, very far away. Very, very far away. To a place where the other tree would never come between Norman and Mildred ever again. And just like that, the other tree was gone. Norman and Mildred were back together, just the two of them. But it wasn't the same. Other tree? What other tree? Oh, that other tree. I don't know what happened to the other tree. I didn't do anything. Maybe it went on vacation. Maybe it moved. How should I know? There, there, Mildred. You still have me. Soon, Norman started to think about Mildred without her new friend. Norman started to think about the other tree all alone out there. Norman 
started to think about himself and what he did. What if someone had seen him? Let's think. There was the moon, there were the stars, there was the grass and the trees. Oh no, the trees. What if they saw me? What if one tree tells another tree, who tells another tree, who tells another tree, who tells Mildred? What am I going to do? What have I done? What if digging up your friend's friend in the middle of the night and taking that friend very, very far away was not the right thing to do? What if it was the wrong thing to do? Stop staring at me, Mildred. Trip thud. Norman had hit rock bottom. I have hit rock bottom. Something had to be done. Norman planned and he planned again. Then he went back to where he had left the other tree to try and undo what he had done. Yes, you're right. I went a little overboard, but in my defense, you were touching branches. Norman knew life was going to be different. Look who's back, Mildred. And that was okay. He might even like it. Norman and Mildred and the other tree. Just the three of them. And who is that? The end. Thanks for joining us here today at Storytime with Miss Abby. We hope you enjoyed the story and we can't wait for you to return and visit us soon. Bye-bye.